Good morning, guys. Thought I would uh, do a quick video on uh, static pressure and how I take it and uh, how I document it. I uh, just finished listening to an HVAC Shop Talk podcast. Uh, had an early sneak peek on that because I'm a Subscribestar member. Uh, for those that uh, listen to the podcast and want certain perks, just head on over to Subscribestar and subscribe to uh, HVAC Shop Talk, Zach Ciotta's channel. So, <clears throat> just going to do a quick video on how I go about doing things. One spot here uh, that I could put on my return side for the evaporator. Do the blower compartment. Got a spot here for my supply. Got a spot up there for my evap pressure drop. The first thing I will check is my total external static, which tells me the entire system pressure. I'll put one of my probes there. The probe goes in right before the evap. That there. Today I'm going to use Measure Quick for my reporting. I'm going to activate my probe manager. Switch this over to Total External Static. Thanks to Michael Foosh, I'm using this template, which records all my items here. Even shows you how and where to drill the holes. We're going to start off with Total External Static Pressure. Okay, so first thing we want to check um, is the total external static pressure on this one is rated for 0.8. Have those connected, and if we look right here, we're in the green, so 0.77 across the filter. I don't know if you guys can see that. So 0 0.2. Next I'm going to do my return side only. So what I'm doing is strictly taking the return and we have 0 0.06. Next thing I'm going to do is my evaporator pressure drop. And my pressure is 0 0.25 on a dry coil. And now I'm going to do my supply side. So I'll just disconnect this here. So now we're simply reading supply pressure. And that's also. 0.06. Last thing to do is my CFM. CFM is one zero 
And there we have it guys, that's a complete system check. I patch up all my holes and um, that way next year if we come we'll have this to reference because I'm going to put today's date which is 01 15 20 and then we can start noticing issues. Okay, This number goes up, for example coil pressure drop, say it goes 0.5 then I know my evaporator is getting dirty, okay? And we can recommend it cleaning. Uh, let's say, for example, our return side decides to go really high, right here. Then I know I have to look and investigate what's changed. Do we have return issues, blockages, uh, were renovations done, are any returns blocked? Um, another quick check is your filter pressure drop, right? If uh, we get there and we see a very high pressure drop, then you know your filter's starting to get dirty. Now, one thing I didn't do, and I should have, uh, was taking this after I replaced this filter. Pretty sure I'm replacing it. Because... Replaced it last year, so I'm going to replace this one, and then I'll get an updated pressure drop on there to see the difference, and I'll show you guys that. Well, today is this customer's lucky day. I ran out of Merv 11 filters, and uh, all I have left is this high-grade Merv 16 filter. So. <laughs> He gets a MERV 16 for the cost of a MERV 11. It cost us more money to send a tech to grab one and come back, so might as well do this. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys something here, okay? Not all of them, but some of them will show you the filter drops on these. So this is a MERV 16. Airflow rate. We're right around here, so we should expect a resistance drop of 0.17 or around there. So let's put this in and see what we got. Okay guys, so with the new filter in there, I got 0.25, a little bit more of a drop on this one, probably because it's a MERV 16 and it's got more pleats in there. But uh, overall, there's the calculations. And uh, that's how we take total external static. I'll just write here, MERV 16. All right guys, so that's it for today. Just wanted to show the guys how to do static pressure. Hit subscribe if you like it. Let us uh, know of any comments that you might have. Other than that, see you on the next one. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here